Hey guys, welcome back to Doing It DIY. If you're new here, my name's Allison. Welcome, I hope that you'll subscribe so that we can DIY together. Today I have five easy Dollar Tree summer DIYs that anyone can do. Everything you need to complete these DIYs is listed in the description box below. We're gonna go ahead and get straight into it with this cute little fresh lemonade sign. I found, it looks like a mug to me, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I found a mug type summer sign at the Dollar Tree about a month ago and I knew I could make something cute with it but I didn't like the shape of it as it was. So I went ahead and took off the little wooden fruit that's on the front and then this stuff is super easy to cut. The I don't know if it's MDF or, or what exactly it is that they make these signs out of, but it's super easy to cut. So I just took my X-Acto knife and I just used a craft stick to get a straight edge and I scored a few times and it just pops right off. It's super easy. So I took that straw off and then I didn't want it to have a handle because I wanted it to look more like a mason jar. So I just did the exact same thing on the handle, scored it as several times and on both sides of the handle and then just popped it right off. And once I did that, I just took a Dollar Tree sanding sponge and sanded down those spots. And in the end, you could not tell that there was ever a handle or a straw. There we go, now it's looking like a mason jar. We're gonna go ahead and take some Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory, which is my favorite off-white to use. I'm kind of upset because my Walmart stopped selling Waverly chalk paint. I don't know if it's just my Walmart or all of them, but now I have to find another place to buy it because I haven't tried the one that they have for sale there. Now, I don't even remember what the name of it is, but I'm gonna have to try it. Um, if not, then I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to buy my chalk paint because I really like Waverly. I found these super cute little wooden fruit stickers at the same time that I found that little sign, and I thought it would look super cute to make one of those into a lemon. So I just took some apple barrel paint in the color Sunny Day and went around the outside, what would be the peel and the fruit on the inside. I left the, where, the white part, the pith, just the natural wood, and it looked perfect. It's too, too tiny to really get a paintbrush in there, but if you wanted to take your time and do it, you probably could. Now, because we want this to look more like a mason jar, I'm gonna go ahead and take some metallic sterling silver um, folk art paint and give it a few coats. I had to give it about five coats because for some reason this um, particular bottle of paint was extremely runny, which is not usually a problem that I have. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and take a little bit of this Dollar Tree joint compound. I don't know what it's called, joint compound or um, putty or what it, the stuff that you use to fill holes. I got it at the Dollar Tree and I just put it in the holes the original hanger came on and sanded that down after it dried. Now, because I want to kick this up a notch and really make it look like a mason jar lid, I'm gonna go ahead and take my hot glue gun and just make three lines at the top where the lid would be. And I'm gonna kinda curve them just a little bit. They're not perfectly straight. They're not a perfect even consistency all the way through, but the finished product, though, it gives it just a little bit more, a little something more. So once that's done, we're gonna let that dry. I found the cutest little fresh lemonade SVG file for free online. I hate to pay for SVGs. If I can't create something, I want something that's free. And honestly, this was just as cute as every one of them that I saw that cost money. So if you wanna make this sign or you wanna use this SVG, I have it linked down below for you. It's totally free. I think you may have to subscribe to the site, which I don't mind because I like to see all the new SVGs they create. So. I'm just gonna put that on there. I cut it out on my Cricut. It was super easy. There's my head. My head is in every one of these videos. I have to figure out a new setup so that that doesn't keep happening because it's annoying to me. Um, so in hindsight, I wish I had moved it down some, but you know, shoulda, woulda, coulda, I guess. Um, and then what we're gonna do because that hot glue has dried is just go back over that with the same sterling silver paint and you can see it automatically kind of gives it a raised appearance and makes it look like lid. What I'm gonna do now is take a tiny little drill bit. I think this was 3 16 um, And we're just looking for a hole big enough to put our jute twine through. So I'm just gonna drill just a tiny little hole right at the top of my little wooden fruit that I painted 
and set that to the side. And we're gonna take some more hot glue and some more jute twine and we're just gonna wrap it around the top a few times. You don't have to do this and this is one of the reasons I said that I should have moved the vinyl down because it's very close to this. But I thought it added a little something and I really liked the finished product the way it turned out. So I wasn't too mad that it was up too high. And then I'm just going to take that same jute twine and put it through our little lemon and I'm gonna tie it directly onto the jute twine that I wrapped around the top. I apologize if you guys hear background noise like a fan or something like that. It is so hot in Ohio right now. With the humidity, it, it's miserable and even with air conditioning you need fans going so I have like three of them on me right now so if you hear that I'm so sorry but um, what I'm gonna do is take these are just regular size Jenga blocks you can definitely use some tumbling tower blocks I just glued a couple of those together and then hot glued that to the bottom of the sign on the back to make it stand up on its own and that's all there is to this guys Okay, project number two is this easy little beach theme tic-tac-toe board. If you've been around for a while, you've probably seen my Valentine's Day tic-tac-toe board. This is made the exact same way. We're gonna do a reverse canvas. So I'm just taking eight by 10 um, canvas. You can get them from the Dollar Tree. I believe this one came from Walmart because I reused something from an old project. And we're just going to take the staples out of that canvas to remove the frame. Once you have the frame out, you're just going to take some Waverly chalk paint in the color pool and give it one or two coats. Um, you honestly don't even need to give it two because if you want this to look rustic like mine does in the end, one coat should be good. And then I'm just going to take some ivory and I'm going to do some places with the ivory and some places with the ivory and the pool mixed together to give it a lighter shade of blue. I just kind of want it to look like clouds and the beach and waves and, and all those different colors like that. Once that's painted, we're just going to go ahead and take our canvas and lay it out and trace all the way around our frame and then cut it out with a pair of scissors. This cuts out super easy. It's not a problem at all. And sometimes I will paint my canvas. This actually was a little bit different color than the ones that I see from the Dollar Tree. It was really sandy looking and I thought it was perfect to leave it like that for this project because it looks like sand. And then I'm just going to take my shells. These came from the Dollar Tree, but if you have been on vacation lately or you keep shells from vacations past, this is a great way to display them, quite honestly. And once I have those, I'm just going to mark to see where my lines are going to be. Mine are never straight. You guys, if you follow me for any length of time at all, you know that I cannot paint or draw or cut a straight line. That's just my curse in life and that's perfectly okay. I love the way that it turned out regardless of how straight my lines are. But what I did is took some Waverly chalk paint in the color elephant and traced those lines. I really shouldn't have because then I'm gonna go cover them up with some jute twine because I thought it made it look a little bit more rustic It add a little bit more farmhouse to the look. So that's what I did. You can skip this step for sure, all you have to do is just draw a little line of hot glue down those lines and hook your, there's my head, <laughs> hook your jute twine to the canvas and then just trim it up. Super easy. Once you're done with it, you're just going to go ahead and take your frame and add some hot glue to that and put it directly down onto the canvas. And if you need to trim any excess off, you can do that at that time. And then we're just gonna go ahead and lay out our seashells. I chose two different shapes and two different colors to make it look like X's and O's. You can do however you want here. And then I just took some nautical rope and some hot glue and glued that on the back. And this is done, it's super easy. Project number three is this super easy summer is my favorite color sign. 
I'm going to find my inspiration and link it above. It was a palette sign, and I thought, hmm, I don't have a palette, but I can definitely do that. So I'm going to take two. These were Easter signs um, from the Dollar Tree. We're going to use that little bit of, I'm going to call it joint compound because, you know, I don't think that's what it is, but that's what I'm going to call it. And we're going to cut, we're going to fill in all of the holes where the original hangers were and sand it down. And then we're just going to take some medium sized craft sticks and hook these two signs together. If you don't have these signs, that's perfectly okay. You can use any signs that you have. Um, you can add a couple of them together. This, a couple of the long signs would work well for this too. This is just what I had in my stash. I have so many signs and I need to use them all. So that's what I did. And then all the colors we're going to use, minus the purple that I don't use, is on the screen. They're listed in the description box below. We're just doing what looks like a sunset, a very beautiful sunset. And we're not really doing an ombre, but we're really going to mix the colors together. So you'll see I go in from the fuchsia, the pink magenta, into a really pretty bright red, which honestly should have been at the top, but that's okay. Um... I was trying to follow the colors on the actual, the um, inspiration. And you kind of want to, as you add a new color, blend the color before to it. So you don't want this to dry before you start to blend your colors together. And you'll see when it's finished here in just a second how easy and how beautiful it looks when you do blend them together. So you don't want like four totally separate lines of color. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a very blended look like that. And I love the way that it turned out. It's so cute. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my square. This just came from Lowe's and I'm going to mark even spaces on both sides of our sign. And that's because the original was a palette sign and this does not have those lines, but I wanted to make them. So then I just took my exacto knife and I used my cutting mat to get a straight edge and I just went down a couple times and scored the wood to make it look like planks that you would see wooden planks like you would see on a palette. It was very effective. It did the job and you can kind of see that right there. It just looks like wooden planks. And then I just created this little summer is my favorite color because that's what the original said. I just went into um, Cricut Design Space and found a font that I like. If I can find the font again, because I have so many, I will list it below for you. But you could honestly print anything you want here. Use any font you want and just use this as a background. If you want to create the one that I did, it's super easy. I do wish I had made the, the words a little bit bigger, but, you know, shoulda, woulda, coulda. But it was super easy. And then I just took this little white paint pen and wrote a couple lines on the sides because I thought it needed something. And I had a couple, um, what are they called? Paint sticks left over from another project, as you can see on the back. And I thought they were the perfect color, the perfect accent to add to the top and the bottom of the sign. And that's it, guys. Project number four is this super easy faux book stack. I am using a book stack that I made a while ago. I'm going to link it above for you. But I just reused that little wooden crate from the Dollar Tree because I didn't have any more at that point. And I'm just taking some yellow paint. I believe this is Sunny Day Again or the color yellow from Apple Barrel. I'll have it listed below. And I'm going to go ahead and give a couple coats of paint to the entire crate. I go back and add a little bit of an ombre effect and I think that definitely set it off and made it look great and all those things. But for beginners, I just gave it one or two coats of that yellow paint all over the entire crate.
Okay, and I don't show doing the ombre, but I just mix the sunny day with a little bit of ivory from Waverly and got a, a lighter yellow in the middle and then just took the ivory at the bottom. I don't know how well you can see that. And then I just created this Hello Summer little SVG. I have it linked for you guys down below and the S came off, so I ended up having to trace it with a paint pen. So that's why it looks a little bit different. Then I just take a piece of burlap ribbon and hot glue it on the inside. And then I love this little chevron um, burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put that right down the middle of the thicker burlap ribbon with some hot glue. I don't usually decorate for summer. That's not something I do a lot anyway. I'm so excited about fall and Christmas and I will be starting my fall DIYs very soon. I can't wait for that. I can't wait to share them with you guys. It'll be lots of months of fall and summer DIYs. So I'm so excited for that. Once we have our ribbon on and you can use any ribbon you want here. If you wanted to use the jute twine and make a little bow or whatever it is, you can definitely do that. This part is just about you being creative. But I just took a few little sunflowers from a sunflower pick that I bought from Walmart and added it to the top and that's all there is to this. Project number five is probably my absolute favorite. I love it so much. This is my inspiration. I'm going to link it above for you guys so you can see. Everything we need is on the screen. We are going to start out. This was a three part sign that I got for Valentine's Day. You honestly could use one of the Easter signs that I used before. You could use something bigger. You could use something smaller. It's totally up to you. This is just what I had laying around that needed to be used. But I'm going to go ahead and take, again, more of those medium-sized craft sticks and some hot glue and just glue this sign together. It had a pretty big gap all the way down it, and then it had some pieces, um, some holes where the staples were so I just went ahead and used that same what is this called is it called spackle I used that same stuff to fill that in and then sanded it down super easy then I went ahead and took this really beautiful Kelly green and started on the rind with it now I did this a whole lot like I did the sign that the summer is my favorite color sign I didn't want it to be just stark lines of the different colors, so I kind of blended them together, and I really like the way that it turned out with everything super blended. And then this color that we're using right now is just Waverly chalk paint in the color celery, and then I'm just going to use some of the ivory to go into the celery. Just make it look like a watermelon rind. If you want to do the little squigglies that are through it, you can do that. I did go back and do some and then I kind of covered it up with the green because it was too much, but definitely make it look like a watermelon in whatever way you want to do that. And then I'm just going to use this bright red and give it a couple good coats to be the, you know, the edible part of the watermelon. I love this color. It's so beautiful. Perfect for something like this and perfect for summer. And this is what you should have at this point. Now you can take some chalk paint or some regular acrylic paint in black and paint the little seeds on. I had this little paint pen laying around and it was just super easy. So you just go, and no rhyme and reason, just go ahead and make as many or as few seeds as you want. Super easy. And then I just printed out welcome on my Cricut. Again, if you don't have a Cricut, you can seriously just go into whatever word processing program you have on your computer and type print something out and then just scribble on the back of it with a pencil and turn it around onto your image and trace over it and it's going to leave an outline that you can then paint in so if you don't have a Cricut you can definitely still do this the font that I used is called day love demo and I will link it below for you guys if you want to recreate this but it's super easy it popped perfectly against that red background I love the way that it came out I just added a jute twine hanger and that's it guys. If you like these videos, please give me a big thumbs up. I will be back next week with some farmhouse DIYs that I am loving to create and I hope you guys will love too. 
If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe so that we can DIY together. I always do this and then I realize that I'm not finished with the video. I do go ahead and make a little ribbon. I have made this ribbon, <laughs> I just went straight into it, huh? I've made the same type of ribbon many, many, many times. I'm going to link the original that I followed that showed me how to do it in the description box. You can make whatever kind of ribbon you want here. You don't even have to add the ribbon. I just thought it added something. And this ribbon is from Easter at Walmart. It's just a really beautiful green stripe ribbon. It's beautiful. I love it so much. But that's all there is to it. We're just going to hot glue that up in the corner. And this one is done. Guys, let me know what you think about these DIYs in the comments. I love to read your comments. I love it when you guys leave likes. If you guys want to share this, you can definitely do this. If you recreate any of these, please tag me on Instagram at doing it DIY with Allie. Also, if you haven't followed me yet on Instagram, you can do that. My Instagram is below. I think that's it, guys. I will be back next week with more DIYs. Until then, I'll see you later.